The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Spain against Denmark. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. Javier. Here's the lineup for Spain. Grimaldo starts with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Oyarzabal plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And Morata is the main striker for this match. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen starts alongside Simon Kerr in central defence. Pierre-Emile Hoivier plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Gavi. Here's Carvajal. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Can he find the right pass? The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Oh, the threat is there. Ericsson! Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, it's a 12th European Championship appearance for Spain. Winners in 1964, 2008 and 2012. You've got to say, Stuart, it's a tricky-looking group for them. Croatia, Italy and Albania. But their talent level is high. It certainly is. Spain have got some great young players. But the problem they've had in previous tournaments is, do they play with enough penetration? Yes, they keep possession. Yes, they like to have the ball. But you have to penetrate when you get into the right sort of areas. And that's been the problem for Spain recently. I think they're going to get through this group. Can they go all the way? Probably not. Could cross it in here. Kick taken by Christian Eriksen. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Must be! In it goes! The opening goal in this contest! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Well, all eyes are on the manager. What's he going to do to turn this around? So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there.
Just the clearance that was called for. Oyar Sabal. And this situation could be dangerous. He's got to score! Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, possession lost by Spain. Chances on. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Rodri. Mikel Marino. And back with Morata. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Still alive. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, what a good piece of goalkeeping that was. But the equaliser can't be long. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. Oh, he stopped it. Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. And over from Eriksson. Was it a great clearance? Christensen. It needs an accurate cross. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. Denmark with the ball again. Teammates available. A good and fair challenge. Oh, he looks threatening. Ericsson! And a goal! They've had it to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Oyar Sabal. Now with Morata. And very deftly cut out. And the attack looks promising. But they dealt with the threat posed. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Javier. Darami. Well, wasteful from Denmark. Oyar Sabal. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, they've done a fine job of keeping Ferran Torres quiet, and that's an important part of the story, Stuart. Yeah, he's not had his usual impact, has he? He just hasn't got on the ball in dangerous positions. He's got to keep working hard to find that little bit of space to make something happen, that's for sure. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Oh. 
Rodri. Now with Morata. I must say, this looks promising. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Christian Nurgard. Well, he's certainly not alone. An alert reaction to tip it over. And it's gone behind for the corner. So a personnel change then. Who can they pick out? Well, not cleared away completely. Ericsson. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game. But how does he change it? Three goals without reply. Gabby and the referee sensibly allowing them to carry on advantage with them well, he was very keen to give them the advantage but instead it will be a free kick now well the referee took note of the earlier infringement and a booking it is now Intercepted it. Could be a chance to break here. Opportunity it is. And he struck the post. Oh, that is outrageously spectacular. Well, a flair for the dramatic, to say the least. We'll be replaying that one over and over again for a long time to come. Well, just look at this. He's so bright in the box. He's first to the ball and then a decent finish. It's a good bit of play. Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Good use of advantage there. Chance, maybe. In a decent position now. Able to skip past his man. Having to shoot. It's a corner. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. <laughs> Elects to go short. well to win it back what can they do from here goalkeeper getting in the way superb save
delivering it. He's got to score! Oh, good work by the keeper. But he's gone short with it. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And the attack fizzling out. Mikel Marino. In the right place to cut out the pass. 20 minutes to go in this one. Schulmann. That's a good looking ball. He just needs to keep a cool head. Well, that's a really top notch piece of defending. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. A very good tackle. Gabby. The ball with Rodri. Jose Lu. Jose Lu. This looks more than decent. And danger still. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Good work from Spain to win back possession. And a crucial intervention inside the box. And so into the final five minutes. Possession one. to the advanced position he cuts it back sound piece of goalkeeping oh good looking run that's a nice looking ball can he finish here and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger Corner kick played in. Well, the danger is still there. Oh, opportunity. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Lenormand. It's all over. And a Spanish defeat. Well, they were hoping that wouldn't be the big story at the end of the game.
but they haven't got the wish. Stuart, your analysis. Well, oh dear, Derek, that was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. I think everyone knows what Christian Eriksen is capable of, but as far as stopping him is concerned, that is no easy assignment. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.